Congratulations. So by now, you have seen all of the exercises in the exercises in the program and you know what you're dealing with. Hopefully, you've either committed or you can commit a lot of these to your memory so you can incorporate them in your next circuit or take them with you to the gym. Um, what I'm hoping to create are moves that will stick in your mind that you can do anywhere and they're going to give you a great full body workout no matter where you go. The best part of fitness is that it's a journey and it keeps on giving. Anyway, enough for me. Today we're back at it with the weights again. So go grab the weights and get ready. All right, so our first exercise is the one-legged crossbody squat. So here I take my weight in my left hand and I lift the right leg. Reach across your body, grab the weight with both hands, and as you squat, press your leg as far back as you can to allow for full depth of motion and aim for the inside of that, of that standing leg which in this case, um, this time through, is my left leg. You want to aim slightly below the knee, about shin level. All right, last one here. We're getting ready to switch sides. Great job. This is not an easy exercise. Now I'm raising my left leg. My right leg is my standing leg, and the weight is in my right hand. I cross my body and grab the weight with my left hand. I send the left leg back as far as I can while squatting on that right leg. I cross my body with the weight and bring the weight to about shin level. This is great. It works your lower body. It works your balance. It works your torso. It works a little bit of your shoulders because of the weight. Um, it's just a really great full body exercise to help you with your balance, strength, endurance, and toning. Great job. Last one. On to the next exercise. Great job. Our second exercise in this circuit is the reverse lunge fly. We're just going to alternate sides here so you don't need to keep, you know, you don't need to stick with the left or the right. But so you're going to lunge back with, in this case, my left leg, come forward and do a fly with those weights. Come back up to a standing position. Then you're going to do a lateral raise. Reach back with that right leg, do a fly, come back to a standing position do both arm lateral raise right out in front of you. Again, we're not going for speed. I really want you to concentrate on form. So reach back with that active leg, find the good lunge, do a good fly, contract the scapula or the shoulder blades at the top, come back to a standing position, contract the shoulders and biceps again and do that front lateral raise. Your arms should come um, to about to your eyes or your forehead. We really want to work all those muscles. You're working your shoulders, your biceps, a little bit your triceps. And obviously when you're doing that lunge, you're concentrating on good form and you're working the legs as well. So lunge, feel the heat build in that leg, come back up, do that front lateral raise. And make sure when you're doing that fly, you're really bringing, you're contracting the scapula and bringing those shoulder blades together. These are not e easy exercises. This is a great compound full body exercise that's going to work your full body. You all are doing a great job. Now I want you to get into a plank position and drop one weight. And this time we are working the sides. It's a straight arm raise to rotation. So in this case, I have the weight in my right hand and I'm raising that arm straight out in front of me and I'm not dropping it. I'm bringing it all the way over to the side. I'm rotating my whole torso and bringing that weight to the sky. Do not bend at the elbow. Your arms are staying straight. So you're raising that arm up laterally in front of you and then you're bringing it to the start position without putting the weight on the ground. You're opening up to the side. You're really contracting that torso and raising that weight as high to the sky as you can. Great job. Time to switch sides. So this time I'm putting the weight in my left hand. I'm bringing that arm, raising that arm straight out in front of me and then over to the side and opening up my torso. You need, you need to keep a good plank position this entire time. This exercise is awesome. You're working your entire body, your legs and your core for stability and then your arms. You're really going to build the lean muscle in those shoulders and the biceps. Great job. That is not an easy exercise. Come back to a standing position, and we're going to work on balance with our warrior three chest fly. So grab both weights, raise that right leg, send it back to a good warrior three, open the chest up for a fly, bring that leg up, that right leg up in front of you. Reach as far back as you can, get as long as you can, and 
open up that chest and squeeze the scapula on those shoulder blades for a really good chest fly. This is really great for balance. You're going to tone the legs. You're going to lengthen the legs. Reach as far back as you can in that warrior three and open your chest and arms as wide as you can in that fly. Again, contract the scapula, bring the shoulder blades together um, and really work those shoulders. You're doing a great job. It's time to switch legs. So now your right leg becomes your, your stable leg. Your left leg is your working leg. Raise it in front of you. Reach back to warrior three. Do a really good chest fly. Bring that leg in front of you. Reach back to warrior three. Open up the chest. Without tapping, bring that leg and raise it in front of you. A good modification or if you feel you're losing your balance, just make sure you tap that foot. Kind of regain, refocus. Um, realize where your center is, regain that balance, and then just get right back at it. Lengthen through the warrior three, open up through the chest, contract the scapula, bring the shoulder blades together um, for a really good fly and lengthening warrior three. Great job. Y'all are doing a great job. It's time for our final exercise, which is the lunge torso rotation. So you're gonna stay in a good lunge the entire time. So send that left leg back in this case, keep your body weight centered, drop into a lunge, and just slowly rotate the body with the weight in one hand. You're really gonna feel the heat build um, in the quad of that active leg, which is the leg that's back, my left leg here. And you're really gonna feel the heat build in your core as you rotate, and then a little bit in your shoulders at the top of the rotation and the bottom of the rotation. So that's how far I want you to rotate, if you were wondering, until you feel it in the shoulders. The weight is really gonna put strain um, on the shoulders, in a good way. You're gonna build lean, like you're gonna really sculpt those shoulders with that exercise. Time to switch sides. So now, my left leg is in front and my right leg is back and I drop the knee to a good lunge. Your leg is gonna naturally straighten a little bit as you rotate that torso. Um, that's all right. You're still, this is still a great, uh, this is still great for your lower body and your upper body at the same time. You should really heal, feel the heat building everywhere really, in the core as you rotate, um, in the back and front quad, in your hamstrings, um, as you stretch that leg and in the shoulders at the top and the bottom of the rotation. Great job. Great job. And this is the last rotation of the circuit.